Welcome to episode 5 of the Race to Max Cape. Before we get started, let's get the formalities out of the way. My name is Munkle Zunky. This series is a series where I take user-submitted screenshots and put them in a video and as well have some standings for a competitive environment in which to race towards the Max Cape against other people that are either at your total level or above or below it. And the purpose of this series is to help motivate people to get the max cape and all, also have some fun and friendly community involvement uh, while trying to achieve that. So what you're going to be seeing from these first few clips is um, a few drops. I know drops from bosses are not technically uh, helping you towards the max cape in a direct way. However, you do make money from bossing and money is used to buy skills. So indirectly, drops from bosses does help towards getting the max cape. And that's just how I feel. Um, I did have a ton of um, screenshots that were, were submitted this week and one video clip as well that will be showed later. But I did want to say um, we're up to 90 people now in the Race to Max Cape, so hopefully by next episode there will be 100 people. That is the plan. I uh, just need 10 more people to join. Hopefully we can pull that off by next episode. So I did get um, 70 screenshots, which is the most I've ever had, and none of them were for me. So uh, that's a ton of user-submitted screenshots. Of course, if you are in the ro Race to Max Cape, you're always perfectly welcome to submit screenshots. I'm going to have... As always, um, directions on how to do that down in the description, and you can always join my friends chat in game or leave a comment um, if you need some more in depth directions on exactly how to submit screenshots because not everyone can figure that out really easily. And also, if you want a little more information on that, I believe in the first episode of the Race to Max Cape series, I did talk a little bit more about how to submit screenshots and all that, and the link to that will be down in the description. So, uh, one thing I noticed is a lot of people have been doing warbands for XP, especially like the farming and herb lore skills, which is a pretty good idea because... Um, those skills are rather expensive and not everyone has hundreds of mills to pay for the viable skills, especially the more expensive ones such as farming and I believe construction and smithing and herblore are all the viable skills that you can train through warbands. So that's a great way to train. Um, I found them rather frustrating myself, but if you have the heart to push through and do warbands and um, get levels that way, that is a great way to train. I also know someone who frequents my FC often who says he got, I believe, from like 82 Herblore to 99 Herblore um, just from Warbands alone ever since it's been out. So it is very good XP and you can get 99s off of it. Um, so there's just a little tip. Um, a lot of people getting in the 90 plus skills. Uh, we did have a few 99s this week and one more max cape as well. So that's now three people so far in this series who have achieved their max capes. Um, you'll see a screenshot of that in a little bit. It's coming up. We have to get through all the levels first. Um, and I did have one thing I wanted to talk about a bit later on in the video. I will wait until I'm showing the standings for that because um, it's just something that I kind of need people's opinion on. Um, so if you're really interested in this series and like watching and want to are concerned about the future of this series, um, stay tuned till the later part in the video where I am going over the standings and we'll talk about that a little bit more then but for now I just want to honor everyone who's been getting their levels and how you can see that all in the background just going by one thing that I did touch on a little bit in the last episode of the race to max cape was um, some when you look at the standings and you see where you are situated if you are in the race to max cape um, obviously not everyone who watches this video will be in the race to max cape although they're very welcome to join but if you are in the series, um, what I mentioned a little bit last week was you want to look at the one or two people that are ahead of you, especially if you have a really close total level, and just make it your goal this week to pass them, uh, whatever that total level may be. And you can always, of course, um, look up people's usernames on the high scores. Uh, everyone's username on the Race to Max Cape uh, in the standings later is up to date. There have been a few people that have changed their usernames, but that's okay. Uh, I do change um, the username in, this st in the Race to Max Cape as well if someone changes their RSN in-game. So I do keep up with that. But um, I've noticed that not a whole lot of change happened in the standings this week. People kept pretty consistent with the same 
um, places that they were last week. So maybe people took my words to heart and decided to uh, bust out some levels and try to pass someone. Because if you're trying to pass the person in front of you and they're trying to pass the person in front of them uh, and you both play the similar amount of time, you're probably not going to move in front of them just because they're getting levels as well. Um, anyway, we're getting into the 99s now. Um, we got some 99 Mage and PVME Simru uh, achieved 99 Attack at Nex, which is a really interesting place. I've never seen anyone uh, get 99 Attack at a uh, boss. Um, I did see someone get 99 Slayer at Calphite King a couple weeks ago, I do believe. And then some Dungeoneering clips. I got a few more Dungeoneering screenshots this week than I typically do, so they're always welcome as well. Uh, it's more of a comp cape requirement than a max cape requirement after 99 Dungeoneering, but I do put them in as well because um, the comp cape is part of the series even though it's not part of the title. So, um, and also, hello, Mr. Fro had one comp cape requirement that he sent in, which was his 1000 Charm Sprite Scott. And this was the max cape that I referred to earlier. Hello, Mr. Fro got his 99 construction, and I believe he had 99 crafting and one other on the same day. And with that, he got his max cape. So, grats to you. You are now the, the third person in the series so far to achieve the max cape. And here's the one video clip that I got this week, which was Gucci, who got 99 crafting at the crafting guild. Very traditional way to get it, but um, yeah, still grats to you. So here are the standings for this week. Um, as you notice, we do have 90 players now, which is awesome. Thank you so much. I believe we achieved around roughly uh, 20 new users since the last week. So thanks for that. The series is really growing a lot, and I do appreciate all the screenshots and all the people who are talking about this series in the Friends Chat and who are all really interested in it. And I did include my... Um, my account that I made just last week because I already am 840 total level on it and that is the last place in the standings but I only made it a week ago and I only included that because I did want to round out the um, the number of players up to 90 because I thought that was kinda cool um, so I did say I had something that I did want to talk about earlier in the episode and that is well concerning the standings what you're seeing right now um, as many of you know, this video takes a long time to make, and it pretty much eats up my entire day, uh, well, most of it, um, every Friday when I am on the computer. So what I wanted to ask you guys is how you would feel of uh, any way that I could make this um, series a little easier uh, for myself to make, because if the series keeps growing at the rate that it, it is, I'm not going to be able to have the time in one day to make this video. Um, I'll just say that. Getting all everyone's stats uh, written down and making up the standings does take uh, about an hour and a half just in its own so I was wondering if you guys would be interested in scrapping the traditional standings that we had um, and instead incorporating more of like the records and keeping the top 10 obviously in the Hall of Fame but uh, all the standings here it does take a very very long time to gather all these stats and if people keep sending in the screenshots which I hope they do because I love receiving all the screenshots um, that would just make the video extremely long and uh, although people do enjoy long videos um, my my uh, personal time I have to be on the computer is not going to be enough to be able to make an entire video if it keeps growing is what I'm trying to say so um, I'm just gonna ask you guys if you have any suggestions on a way I could either make this video uh, this series a shorter video um, or just if you think it's a good idea to completely scrap the traditional standings and instead have more records and I could I could do more things um, stats wise that I could do uh, I would have to think of some possibly some suggestions but um, yeah as I said I just need to brainstorm some way to make this video shorter and I don't want to um, mess with the screenshots at all because I think they're great and it's going great just the way that they are so uh, that's the standings for the most of the players and now we get into the top 10 here um, it hasn't changed that much since last week we have one new face in the top 10 who is iCosmic who just joined the series uh, this past week so welcome to you and other than that the top 10 is still similar to what it was last week so still lots of people that are getting pretty close to the max cape I would say there's a good five people in there who could definitely achieve the max cape within the next couple of weeks so hopefully we will see a few more max capes uh, coming up pretty soon it would be awesome to have 
two people get a max cape in one episode. That might happen. Uh, here are the records. Haven't changed much other than the highest XP total. Um, the guy who was the highest XP total has decided to not play EOC anymore and go for 07, which opens up the uh, number one spot for uh, contention. So if anyone wants to uh, get up to a 500 mil XP or something like that and achieve that number one spot, that would be cool. Um, other than that, the records have not changed that much. And then, of course, the Hall of Fame has only changed because uh, Hello Mr. Fro achieved his max cape. So, still, no one has achieved completionist cape, and the first person to achieve max cape is not going for completionist cape anymore. Um, and I don't know what pre Bill's plans are, whether he's going to uh, try for the completionist cape or not. But, um, yeah, there is still no one with the completionist cape yet, so that spot is completely open. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I just wanted to say leave your opinions on what I mentioned earlier just on any way I can make this video a bit shorter or whether you think it's a good idea to scrap the traditional standings or whether you think that's a terrible idea and you really want me to continue with that because I can. Uh, it might just take a very very long time to make this video but I'll try my best um, if that's what everyone wants to see. So uh, that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching and stay tuned till next week and don't forget to leave your RSN down in the comments if you're interested in joining series and send in those screenshots. Farewell.